Intel stock has plummeted in value over the last few quarters. Questions linger as to what the firm's next course will be as it attempts to retake the lead in processors, with the stock looking to hit a multi-year level of support around the $45 per share range. It's undeniably difficult to play in the chip space when you've fallen so far behind. Intel's glory days appear to be in the rearview mirror, with new rivals such as Apple and Microsoft building their own chips. Even if the company is able to catch up with its current architecture roadmap, the total addressable market may shrink as more companies turn to internal hardware components. Indeed, for a company that was once vital in the hardware space, this isn't a significant trend in the tech world. There has never been a better time to reduce one's reliance on the supply chains of other businesses. Simply put, the next five years appear to be extremely uncertain, as the company risks succumbing to rising competition, which appears to have been jolted by the pandemic. The stock has a neutral rating from me. Despite the fact that Intel's multi-year effort to reclaim the chip market lead is still in its early stages, its recently hired CEO Patrick Gelsinger already appears to be raking it in, with a hefty $180 million compensation package in 2021. That's a substantial sum, especially so early in the man's career. I'm sure investors will be pleased with Gelsinger's large paycheck if he can return Intel stock to its former glory. Time is of the essence for a company whose stock has underperformed the Sand P500 till then. INTC's stock has dropped into single-digit earnings multiple territory, attracting the interest of value investors with a technical bent. Of course, evaluating the company while it is navigating between the line of value and the value trap is difficult. As a result, I'm cautious to buy a further stock unless the company provides updates on its long-term investment strategy. So what is your opinion about Intel stock?